All right. So let's look at this question. This question says, what mass of silver nitrate? Silver nitrate, the formula is AgNO3, is needed to make 0 0.50 liter of a 0 0.10 mole per liter solution. In this case, observe, we are asked to find what mass. We are asked to find mass this time. So how do we solve this? Um, I'll take you through a step-by-step -step process in solving this. First things first, what am I giving? I'm giving the volume. I'm giving, I'm giving volume, volume as, uh, okay, volume has been equal to 0 0.50 liter. That's the first one. Also, I'm giving this 0 0.10 mole per liter. Remember that we said mole per liter is the SI unit for what? Molarity. So I'm giving the molarity, and we said another name for molarity is what? Molar concentration. So whether they call it a molarity or a molar concentration, they mean the same thing. The molar concentration here is 0 0.10 mole per liter. So I have this. All right, so from this, what is the relationship between molarity and volume? What do we know? Let's recall something. Recall that molarity, recall that molarity is equal to mole in mol all over volume in liters. So from here now, we can find the mole of um, silver nitrate. The molarity value is 0 0.10 or simply 0 0.1 is equal to the mole value which we don't have all over the volume. The volume here is 0 0.50 or simply 0 0.5. Any of them works. To solve this, I will have to cross multiply all over 1. So mole times 1 gives me mole. So I have that mole times one so it's usually this times this is equal to so it's equal to this times this that's 0 0.10 multiplying 0 0.50 all right so if i multiply this mole times one is mole because as we said anything times one is that thing i'm having 0 0.10 times 0 0.50 this gives you about 0 0.05 if you multiply this two you have 0 0.05. Mole is measured in mol, as we said. All right, so we've gotten this. We were not asked to find the mole. We were asked to find the mass. So how do we get mass from mole? Also recall your formula. Recall the formula that mole is equal to mass all over molar mass. All right, I've already, I've already gotten the mole as 0 0.05. My task is to find molar mass. So let me get the molar mass of silver nitrate. So the molar mass, the molar mass of silver nitrate. What do I have? That's equal to, for silver, the atomic mass of silver is 108. So 108 plus, for nitrogen, the atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 plus, for oxygen, the, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So it becomes 16. But if you observe, I have a subscript of 3. That means I have 3 atoms of oxygen. This means I will mul multiply the oxygen value by 3. So I have this, right? I multiply this one here by 3 because I have three atoms of oxygen. If I work on this, this is equal to, so I'm having 108. So this gives me 108, 108 plus 14 plus um, 48. All right, so let's add them. Let's sum them. 108 plus 14 plus 48. That gives you 170. So the molar mass is 170. Molar mass is measured in gram per mole. That's the molar mass. 
So with this taken now, we can now get mass. Let's substitute value. The mole value as we calculated is 0 0.05. That's mole is equal to the mass all over the molar mass. The molar mass as calculated here is 170. So you can see here, we got 170. So how do we get mass from here? Simply cross multiply becomes all over one. So this becomes mass times one. So mass times one is equal to this times this 0 0.05 times 170. Mass times one gives you mass is equal to 0 0.05 times 170. That gives you 8.5. Now, don't forget that we said mass is measured in what there? Grams. It becomes 8.5 grams. So, this becomes the solution to this problem. This is how we solve this question.